ってたよね All right, I think we're live, right? Are we good? Everybody here? Hello! Welcome to another fine edition. Uh, this is 7-7, right? Yeah, July 7th, 2020 edition of Tuesday with Todd. Now, here's what we're going to do. We've got a couple of these weird shapes, and I'm going to show you what I have have kind of figured out. This part, still haven't so much figured it out, uh, so we're still going to play with that, but I did figure out way that I think is going to work for the rest of it. We're going to do one of these um, coffee mugs and we're also going to do the handle. So I think that would be kind of fun. We're going to do the handle. And then we've got a straight up straight down or not. It's not totally straight. But the 20 ounce one that has a curve on it. We've got something I'm going to do on this where I think we can go seamless on it and it should work out fine. So that's the plan. Uh, how's everybody doing? Who do we have in here? Hello, Martha, and hello, Richard, and hello, Tina, and hello, Renee, and Facebook user, FU. I don't know who you are. So remember, go to StreamYard.com slash, wait, no, yes, StreamYard.com slash uh, Facebook, and then you can go ahead and uh, give Facebook permission so that way we're able to see you in there. Tina, good to see you there, uh, Scoob. So, Scuba, did I try cutting the design in strips? Uh, I haven't got that far yet uh, because it was a busy week last week, uh, and then it rolled right into holiday. Uh, it became uh, quite busy, and so we're still trying to we're still trying to get into that little part there. Also, one other thing that I want to mention, if I can find them, is our face masks. So, what did I just do with the blank one? I know I had it. Face masks, right? So in our area, uh, it looks at least one district is calling for uh, masks all the time in the school. Um, so we have the kid size mats, masks that have the adjusters. Now, I like the all over print ones because they do have the adjusters with them. So that way it'll fit any kid for it. So we went ahead and did up some samples. And as you can see, it actually might show better on that other camera. If we switch to that one, I can hit that one, right? Maybe. And then we did a couple more samples to see. So we're going to send these out. Uh, actually, we're going to talk to PTA, and that way, you know, hey, maybe they can do a fundraiser and get some stuff out of it. But we also did it so that the you know, names on the kids can be... Um, be personalized so that way you know who's is whose school logo should be quick simple easy sale because now that it's being required in the schools that's our plan for those uh, you can get those over at montco.biz uh, and, and look there and you're able to find those along with the, the touchless keys is that what we're going to call those the touchless keys so we're going to have those uh, over there as well so which one should we get started with we've got this guy We've got the straight tumbler or the 20 ounce tumbler. And then we've got the coffee mug. I'd like to do the coffee mug for last because I think we're going to have some fun with it. All of these are also going to get bottom prints on them, too. So you tell me which one we want to do. Um, Plar, are the adjusters a pain to get the straps on? No. Uh, I used actually a toothpick. The end tip of a, a glue tip works phenomenal for it because on these let me one, open one up so you can see what they look like and get it out of here at the bag but on these 
you'll notice, and I think I'll be able to, to view it, is that they have a fat side. See how that's a fat hole? And a skinny hole. So what I found is fat hole in, right? Put that on top there. You use your glue tip, glue tip, glue tip, push through. There it is. And then once there, you can just grab and pull. Now, remember, these are going to be a little tough right to this point because you want them to be able to stick on there. You don't want them sliding off. I mean, that's what they're there for is to grip it. Now, do not... And see, it's just that simple. It'll pull through there. Do not put these on first because they will melt. So these ones will work out pretty sweet, I think, for the kids. Uh, and that definitely for the elementary school. Um, and then in the middle uh, middle school, high school, you'll want to probably jump up to the adult ones, which we have those available as well. We have full bleed ones. And like I said, I like these ones for, for the littler kids because they do offer that, um, that whole rubber stopper, rubber rubber gripper holder. Um, these are my favorite to, to press because you don't have to worry about an outline. The black takes care of the outline. These are the kids ones there. Now these ones, the um, ear hole, the ear loop is bigger. So that's why you can't use the grippers on them. But um, I'm sure you could sew because you're an amazing seamstress, Pilar, if you wanted to make those smaller. Uh, we also have both these available in adult sizes. So you have the kid's size, on a small, on a full bleed, kid size with a black ring. Then you have the adult size with a full bleed, adult size with a black ring. And then you also have a 3D print, 3D one, where this one, we're able to see that we are able to get someone off of it, uh, a full effect on it by just folding it in half, that there is a seam in it. This one I like because it is really comfy. And it also has the has a seam in it, but it also has the nose piece in it too. So there's that. Easy enough. All right. So what am I going to sell these for? Well, here comes the golden question because it comes down to how many am I going to sell? Uh, are they going to do it also? I think I'm going to start them at 15 bucks singly for one because of those are going to be personalization. And if they order in bulk, it'll drop down from there. So 15 at one. And I think we can get it down to, uh, because you can, on 11 by 17 sheet, you can get three, you can get four to a sheet. Uh, so uh, you're able to get your ink cost down. You're able to get your print cost down. Totally should have grabbed something to drink uh, now that I think about it. Well, maybe that's in the oven. I'll run and grab something real quick. Uh, so I'm going to be at 15 for singles and then drop it down there. And I think you can get the cost as low as, Say seven, eight dollar range. Uh, I'll do the math on it to find out for sure. But these are ones that we're trying on, on our kids to make sure it fits. Use it for you know display. Use it for you know promotional, and we'll see. And we should have everything rocking and rolling from that. But I think everything came out great color wise. Uh, they press phenomenal. They press at three eighty five for uh, forty five seconds. So quick, simple. I think on six by twenty press, you should be able to load up and get you know six, twelve of them done there. I should measure it out and see, but. They came out really well there, so I'm happy. I'm happy about that one there. So let me scroll back up here. Uh, I like to use the small hole first. That way, they hold the, the big hole. Oh, see, Terry, that's that's like a, a big thing for me. I wouldn't even hide have a knot in it because I don't think you need a knot in it. I think going the other way, it just kind of holds it in there. So I haven't even thought about putting a knot on the end. Um, let's see. On um, Camo's Girl 8020, uh, how do I get the bleed at the seams to appear seamless? I always end up with tiny white lines. So there's a couple things you can do with that. You can use a pressing pillow underneath it to raise that up so that way it, it, it kind of sits in there more. Um, more pressure, too. More pressure will just jam that bad boy down in there. But I'm going to press the pillow there, have that so that way it actually goes into it. Uh, I believe I might have one here. Pretty close. Uh, I thought I did. Uh, maybe I don't. That we did. I think it's it's gone. But that one uh, worked out really well. We didn't have any issues with that one. So that's uh, that's what I would go to go there. Um, 
who else do we got here? Let's see if that I miss any paperclip. Yeah, paperclip, super easy for it too as well. Uh, so that that would work. Paperclip, toothpick, anything with the, that small blunt end to be able to push it through there so you're not stabbing yourself. So you could use a, a sewing needle or something like that, but then you don't want to um, you don't want to stab yourself. Bobby pin, great, but I would probably stab myself with that. So that's why I would go to put use the pencil. Yeah, pencil too, push them through there. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, Matt, yeah, you can print three today at 15 or two for 30. Perfect. So, you know, a lot comes down to volume, you know, a, a volume is where it's going to be at. Um, John, I'm telling you, so it is official. Uh, you can go to montco.biz if you do not have a sublimation printer and sublimation prints are available. So now you're able to get a mug. You're able to get the, oh. I didn't grab those. I thought I had them right here. Give me a second. Okay. You're able to get the sh heat shrink bags. You're able to use a heat gun, put those bad boys on there, and put them in the convection oven, and guess what? You're able to do sublimation. So uh, everything else, flat things, anything like that, you're able to use it right on your regular press. So those are now available through montcode.biz. Uh, and I'm telling you one thing. Um, that even on my side of it, when we have large orders, I'm just going to sub it out and have Aaron print those off for me because the cost on it versus the time is going to be way, way easier uh, just to have somebody else do that that can print a wider format because uh, you can go up to 24 inches, I, I believe, on that and then just kick it out on roll. So it'll be way faster than me standing around waiting for it. Okay. See what happens, uh, and see what how it works. We'll get the. Ooh, I don't want to lose those. We'll get the mass out of the way because I will still talk about those as the time goes on. So I'm make sure I get my timer ready. Timer, timer's ready. Good, go there. Okay, so we're gonna start with this guy, and what I found is when you do your First print, cut the whole edge there because that's what you're going to start with. So it'll be easy, peasy, lemon squeezy, or, or something like that to, to make up. So you're going to put your template on it right there. And what I'm doing is, I don't know if you can see it right there on the edge. I'm going to line it up so that I know that all the way around my design is right there at the rim of it. Um, we will want to make sure that this is the first piece down, so that way it overlaps. So we're gonna bring it up here, so it all overlaps. We're gonna kick it down just a little, and as you can see on that backside, you want them to kind of line up just right. And as this overlaps from that bottom one to that top one, we'll be able just to make it oh so pretty oh so pretty we'll be able to put that on there and a piece of tape so piece of tape will hold that one on bottom one same way we're going to keep that cut that flat edge on it we are going to line her up and we're just going to wrap it around so kind of the same thing we're going to wrap it around, wrap it around, and we're going to see see what happens. Because that one should line up pretty good there. Another piece of tape. Hold that on there. So we got that on there. So I'm going to try and put one of my guys on the bottom here and see what happens. I mean, with this, I get, kind of have this overlapped here, so I'm not sure how well it'll go. But uh, we're going to try and jam that up there. In fact, I might go ahead and just put a piece of tape right there to hold it on there. But we're going to pull off a couple pieces of tape 
We're going to just put my guy in there, and we're going to see what happens with that. So, we'll put that on there. We'll put that on there. Now remember, this is super simple. If I open into the bag, you put it in the bag. It goes in the bag. Remember, I found low heat kind of worked best. Since I got something on the bottom, I'm going to start at that bottom and try and bring it up there. And then I'm just going to work my, work my way around. And I'm going to try and get out as much of everything as I can. Because I think the creases, I don't think they make a horrible difference, but the better contact you can make, the better item you're going to end up with. Remember, this bad boy gets hot. So if you have a heat glove, put it on. Mine's over there. So, you know, don't don't listen to me. Or do as I say, not as I do, as your parents would say. And you can see we're gonna that ridge right there is starting to starting to come through. So we're gonna see how that bad boy picks up. Up oh, and see. Let's see what we lost on that. It totally pulled the bottom off that. So I'm going to put that down with my finger. And then we're going to kick up over here. And we're going to see what happens because all I can do is not come off, right? Or kind of blow out a little. So we're going to see what pushes up over here. I don't believe that's going to stay at all. I'm pretty sure it's going to ghost out of there. But, hey, I'm willing to try. I'm willing to try and just tape it and then see what we get from there. So, um, here we got to do. Next up is we're going to put it in the oven. Ooh, look, there's the oven. All right. Now, remember, this oven came courtesy of El Walmart. So, Walmart... 60 bucks get yourself one of these bad boys and you should be able to do this just as just as simple or as hard as i do so move that out of the way we're gonna open that up we're gonna toss her in there stay it's hot in there start her up five minutes 400 degrees uh, and we'll see what happens so we'll keep that and you can keep and watch that and See how it goes, but okay. Let me go back. What do we have here for sound? Sound good? Okay, we fixed sound. Uh, do you want the seams to line up with each other? Uh, that's what I'm gonna try for. Uh, as that, um, let me bring myself back up here, right? Yeah, so as that wraps around, there's gonna be that um, the flat edge of the seam. You're gonna put that one down first line up the two top parts from there and then hopefully everything kind of lines up from that we're going to see how this one lines up while that one's going uh we're gonna if i do that yeah, there we go okay so while that's going let's go ahead and because we've got four minutes on that we're gonna there we go i moved that so then it took the whole space out of the way so for this one, what I'm going to do is I actually took the edge, right, blacked it on this side, and then blacked it on this side too. So in theory, when I wrap this around, the black should overlap the black, and then I shouldn't have any issues, in theory. Whether that's going to happen or not, I don't know, because uh, we're going to find out, right? Because that's what I do, is I find out how I can screw something up and see if it works or not. So with this one, I know we are going to run into an issue. Uh, because if anybody else tried today, um, I tried to get on JDS's site. And uh, it was, so see, I should have measured it out. Because I'm going to run into 
where that is there and it's not going to overlap and it's going to be too fat and not enough at the top. Not enough at the top. You can see the white through there. JDS's site was down for me, so I couldn't even get in. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I have this template. I have this template. And then I realized that I did not have the template. Uh, and add to that that uh, that it didn't really line up the greatest. So, hey, we're going to make do with what we can. Because why not? Tuesday with Todd, because that's why. So we're going to have that go here. We're going to line this up the best we can there. And we're going to put a piece of tape on it. And we're going to call it good and see what happens. Because you can see there's so much space in there. Which is kind of a good thing. Let's see what these bags can do, right? Let's see. Let's see how good they can they can take care of it or, or not take care of it, and and kind of go from there. Yeah, Terry, bet your twice cut once. Yeah, I should have put it on a piece of paper, wrapped a piece of paper around it, cut it, did all that. Uh, I was totally hoping that JDS site wasn't down and I could just get their full wrap template and not have any issues from it. But that did not go as planned. So, hey, you got to improvise, and, and we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, uh, we got a minute thirty-eight on that, so that should be plenty of time to get this bad boy synced up here. So we're gonna start at the bottom again. Is that right? Oh yeah, I see it's already crinkling down there. Maybe we start in the center. I don't know. Yeah, if anybody knows me, um, me and JDS kind of have issues. Uh, their website, I think, is one of the hardest ones to actually do anything with. It's like they don't really want you buying their stuff. Uh, I love the fact that they are one day shipped to me, so that makes me happy. The rest of it... Oh, I was going to put another guy at the bottom here. Well, let's just start over. Let's use the scissors. We've got 50 seconds on that, so let's just cut this off of here to show you what happens if you forget something, right? Because I totally wanted to try and put another guy at the bottom and see what we could do on that. So, because we have scissors, and we should just be able to slide that. Look at that. Slide that right off. Throw that in the trash, Corey, just in case you didn't know. I have a trash bin next to me, but I throw, will throw it in. So that way I don't get yelled at by Mama Bear. I'm kind of thinking right there. So, we got 14 seconds left on. Mug wrap. Let's see what happens. We'll pull it out. Oh, I need right hand. We'll pull it out of the mug. We'll pull it out of the oven. And you can see. There it is. Stop timer. We're going to pull it out. She looks cooked, right? She looks cooked. So let's see what happens as we start pulling this off. Let's start seeing what happens as we pull this off. So, cut in the center, because I think that's going to be the easiest thing. Come in here, and then we're going to start peeling and peeling and seeing what we get. Remember, this is hot. This is hot potato. Hot, hot tamale potatoes, whatever you want that's hot. Ooh, first off, let's see how... Uh, Ooh, that is hot. All right. So we got one part off, two parts off, and kind of three. So, as you can see, this is rocking solid hotness. Let's see. Okay, do I need to get it out of the glare? Okay. So it's hot. We get that. You can see the seam here uh, of there. But you can definitely see the, the scene there if you're if you're looking for it. But overall, uh, I don't think um, that it's super that's super noticeable for it being a solid one all the way around. Uh, and you can see where it didn't take up the top too. And you can see where it wasn't actually lined up right in there too. So you can see where if you're going to be doing full wraps, um, I would definitely not be uh it'd be it's gonna take some practice because you're gonna have some issues you know you can see where it tried to get in here 
but these ridges, man, are tough. You can see where it did get in here, and you got that. You got great color throughout it, and you can see where it didn't take. So, you know, full wrap, still not sold 100% on it on something that's got any kind of grip, any kind of angle, because uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a beast. Where'd she say that was under the press in the bag? Uh, maybe. Oh yeah, the the orange monster. Yeah, good call, Corey. Use that one. Use that one to hold, and this one to move. So, there's that one. We'll let this one cool off. I'm actually gonna put it over here, and we're gonna give a go at this other one and see what we get. So yes, uh, where are we? Uh, yeah, JDS don't like warp. Yeah, I needed to warp the image, uh, and that was the thing is. Normally, you can just go to your vendor's website and download their um, their templates for it. So with that, you download the template. Here's a template for it. You're good to go. Problem with that is JDS did not have that. Uh, they did not have uh, their website was not available. I tried for a couple hours on it. Oh, you want to see the bottom? Oh, yeah. Bottom. It tried to turn out, but as suspected... It did not. So, hey, live and learn. It definitely needed more pressure on it. So, my bad for the bag on that. But it was it was worth a shot, right? So we're gonna try it on the next one. And you can see here along the edge where it didn't seal the greatest around that either. But you know, it it did it did good from there. So we're gonna try the same thing here. Where we're gonna try we're gonna try a bottom. We'll see what happens. Um, I think. One of the things that I might need to do is bring this up some, so that way it has more of a, a grip at the bottom to to kind of reach through. I guess is is what I'm looking for, because I think that that bag is not going to be able to to push it underneath there as much. So we'll find out, right? I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens with this one but on the camp mug or the, the mug mug i think it will be solid on that one uh, if not hey that's what we're here for so i'm gonna try and pull this as tight as i can up and pull that in Let's see if that makes a difference um but that bag's already full so that one's not going to be a good bag to try on is right where I need it to work at, it's not going to. So there's always something, right? There is always something with it. So let's try again. We'll put it in there. That looks fairly good there. I'm hit it with some heat. I'm hoping it just will bring it down. Okay. All right, I can always see already see that the bottom is not going to be the greatest because of that warp and the paper bunching. Oh, and it's taking it all the way up. So we can already tell, yeah, that it's not going to be the greatest. But that's why you want to make sure you, if you know. But it looked like it might seal good on the bottom this time. But that's why you want to make sure that if you're able to to get the correct template. Use the correct, you know, use the correct tools for the correct job, right? This, not so much. I was thinking, I'm like, oh, it's not that bad of a, of not a circle. Oh, it is. It's totally not a good circle. Let's see if I can just get those to pull up anymore. It doesn't look like it. Looks like it's going to try and split. So we're, we're going to toss right here in the good old convection oven. Where it was tossing it in there, nothing special. 400 degrees, five minutes, simple enough. Let's see how it happens on this. Where are we at here on questions, answers? Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, are silicone wraps better than the shrink bags? Okay, so a silicone wrap, uh, depending on the size of it. Uh, you know, if you're trying for full wraps, Silicone wraps, I think, are going to be more difficult to do because you still have that space that where they tie together at. 
unless you get the one that that overlaps all the way around that has the band on it, then you should be good to go on it. Um, the problem is, is they're just more expensive, you know, because of what they are. They're just going to be a more expensive tool. So uh, I think shrink bags, depending on what, and maybe I should just do a, a couple that aren't full wraps to put on there to show you the ease of that. I think it's going to be fine with that. So we had that there. Um, what else? Where did you get the gloves? I believe Amazon is where the gloves came from. In fact, I know orange glove that came from my barbecue stash uh, because of the, the silicone, super easy to clean. That came from my barbecue stash. Uh, this, I'll find the link for it and I'll post the link uh, in that. I'll put that in the comments after we're all done and, and good to go here. Uh, I'll go back and, and put that in there for, for that. Anybody else have any questions, comments, concerns so far of where we're at with it? Um, I'm thinking of vacuum sealer. Maybe. Um, may, I, I, it's worth a shot. I think on those bags, I'm not 100% sure how they'll pull because it's that cellophane bag. Uh, I'm not sure if a vacuum sealer would be able to, but why not? Give it a shot and, and see what happens. Um, let me try rotating it halfway through. I have two thermometers in mind. The back never reads the same as the front. I can, but look, I mean, on the other ones that we've done, it's been consistent color throughout. Um, I feel opening up because the convection oven moves um, moves your the convection oven. What is it, Renee? It has a fan in it, and it's moving the air constantly around it, so that way it gives more an even cook. So you shouldn't have to move. You shouldn't have to rotate anything at all. Um, I wouldn't. Uh, I've done the, you know a couple of these now, and the color's the same regardless of where it's at. So I think we're we're good to go on that. Um, the, yeah, and check and make sure the thermometers are right too, because sometimes you have that. Have you moved them back and forth to to see where they're at? Um, and overall, what is it? They're the the five ten percent you know over under that you that you might have um, to go with for for a time and temperature. That how are they coming out? Have you did one without doing it? Uh, and so that way, without rotating and seeing the difference between the two, you know, put two in there side by side. Put one in there, uh, you know, that you're rotating halfway through and the other. Are you doing them long ways or are you doing them wide through it? Uh, maybe that's a, a different there. Um, oh, yeah, Aaron, that is a great, great point. Um, you know, use the heat stretch to, to put it in there so that way um, you're able to, to see what the, the real temp is. Uh, have you tried the shrink wrap bags upside down? Uh, I've been driving with them to see no, I have not because we're putting stuff on the bottom of them so we can see what we can do. Uh, even better, though, is I did not uh, set the timer. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we've got two minutes left. Awesome, right? So that's a, that's an amazing thing. I can start seeing it come through. So, yeah, we're just going to let this one go another two minutes. I was probably talking for three. Uh, that is one of the things to remember is to set your timer on this because – you're not setting your timer on it. How do you know when it's done? So good job, me. Uh, so far, we, we've taken one that uh, we've kind of made sort of work. Um, that, not so much. Uh, we've done, we did get a decent enough for a full wrap effect there. Um, still, still a little on the edge to work out. Still a little on the bottom here. And then still some on here. So, uh, but this one has those ridges through it. So it might not be the the basic, um, you know, the best one to do it on because trying to get down there in that probably isn't going to happen. You know, in some spots it really did, in other spots it didn't. So maybe not just the, the greatest thing on the ridge ones. Hey, that's what, we've, that's what we're testing to find out for it. Um, so we've got another 50 seconds on that. I can see it baking through, so I know that it, it is getting close. Um, thanks, Aaron, for the reminder. Uh, let's remind me on this one when we do that, because I'm not even going to start this one. Uh, I've got plans for this one. We'll do a wrap all the way through. We'll do the bottom, and we will also do on the, uh, on the top here, too. So we'll do a wrap all the way around, do the bottom, Top here. Now, all these things can be found from JDS. The mugs, the tumblers, the tape, the um, shrink wrap bags. Uh, problem is, is JDS just site is down right now. So, so much for, for ordering that. All right, look, glove on. And this is why I don't like this glove is big and clunky. So, 
that big clunky glove is tough to to kind of really grab stuff. But I am able to grab it out, and you can see how the colors bake through, right? So I will cut. Oh yeah, this ought to be awesome. Let's try and cut scissors where I can't reach. Oh yeah, awesome. Yeah, so scissors, so gloves coming off because I can't, I can't even cut. Get, a grip on the scissors. There we go. So we'll get that on there. Now I'll put the other glove on and we'll do this and see how it works. So maybe pull that off there. Ooh. 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 Kind of looks like fire. Kind of looks like fire. I think that might have went in there too long, maybe. We'll find out. All right. So, once again, the Ridge mugs, I suck at doing. It would have held up good. Two things. If I would have used the correct, but I would have used the, the correct um, wrap, I think it would have turned out fine, uh, at least for the color. But you can see and those ridges where it just no dice no dice on it and you can see what was really bad there but overall the colors for orange red yellow those came out pretty pretty sweet i'm happy about those black you could see where you know it was supposed to fade over into it not so much because of where that was but hey this whole bad side was bad Everything was bad on this one. So we'll definitely give this one another go when I get the template. Um, and, and we'll see how that one does. But that dud, dud and a half, bottom, dudder, you know, it just uh, it just is is what it is, another dudder. So we'll kick that one off. And we'll go ahead and, and try and see if I can screw up the mug. Uh, right now we're, we are um, two for two for screw-ups. So I don't think we can we can get any worse than that. So why not? You know, well, all we can do is screw it up even more. So we're gonna try full wrap. We're gonna try the mug. Uh, I'm actually gonna start with the guy in the bottom. And I wonder if because that has that little indentation in here, if that's just one of my issues of, of why it's not the doing the greatest. I could be totally wrong, but hey, it's my story. I'm telling it. And uh, that's what we're going with, folks. So we're going to put some tape right on there. So we're going to do that one first. Next up, that's heavy, right? You totally heard that. We're going to do the wrap here. Uh, we're going to kind of sort of almost center it and see how this one turns out. So we'll put some tape right there. We'll put that there. I don't need as big as a piece on this one. So we'll put that there as well. So we got bottom, we got side. Here's my concern with the bag on this one is that the bag's not going to be able to get here. So, well, yeah, it'll get this, but this part I think is not going to get done the best. I did cut some slits in this and cheated because I didn't want to take the time and and do all this while we're here. So we are going to, we didn't cheat. We just kind of made it work a little easier for us. So that way it should, it should wrap all the way around. It should fold in here pretty nice. And then I should be able to tape down in three spots and have a, a good print. A good print, uh, maybe because I just moved it. So let's try that again. Well, that one goes there, and then this one is going to go here. We'll tape that, and we'll put it in a bag, and we'll see what happens. Because, like I said, all it can do is is not come out. Which then we're three for three, and I mean we're batting. We're batting amazingly then. So there's that. 
Let's put her in a bag and see what happens. Bag. Cup. All right, a cup will fit in the bag. I, I was kind of scared about that at first because I wasn't sure if that cup was actually going to fit in in that bag. Uh, I'm going to move. Actually, I'm going to cut that little guy off right there. And then I'm going to maybe use another piece of tape just to hold that guy down. And we'll see. All right. Uh, so, there we go. Barely fits in the bag. Good to know there. Uh, there it is. You really got to really get it in the bag. All right. I'm going to do the same thing where I kind of strip that off. Get as much of it as I can. And we're going to heat it. We're going to heat it, heat it, heat it. Handle is heavy, just in case you didn't know, it is a heavy, heavy weight bad boy. So we're just going to keep heating around. I keep wanting to move it towards the camera because the camera's farther away, and I've got the numbers. I set it up this way so we didn't have to do that. So we're going to said just keep heating. See what we can do to how tight we can get it on here. See if we can get out some of these creases and, and maybe maybe a something that doesn't get so hot would be better like a like a hair dryer you know that that's an option too but uh yeah i think overall i think we got it so let's see let's see what we got Terry says it won't print on the handle that way. At least pull tape across the mug under the handle for some pressure. I did. See, I got some. I got some tape right there. So we'll see. I know there's a couple spots there, there, but guess what? It's already got on it. Let's see what happens, and, and we'll go from there. That mug is still going. Okay. Now, mug in the oven. Nobody told me to set the timer, so good thing I remembered to to set the timer timer started so we got that in there five minutes 400 degrees get that out of our way so i don't burn myself on that i can clean up my mess here so Corey doesn't get mad like i said with these two oh, that one's a, i mean you can tell we got a little better coloring on that one than this one because pressure man pressure is everything so figure out the pressure game you're good to go uh something else that i was thinking too is I could probably get away with stacking something underneath here. Uh, maybe a piece of cardboard, something else that, that brings this pressure across this because, you know, it does have that, that lip on it, that indentation. So if I were to put a piece of cardboard or something here, um, I don't know how that would affect the heat. I don't know because it's all in there, but something that would allow, uh, allow the, the extra pressure to get in there is that bag's there. But, yeah, you can check out this total dud of one. Uh, it'll look like it was going to be good. I thought so, but hey, this is what happens, you know. I, I love I love how the reds came out. And remember, I'm using an Epson seventy six ten, you know, with refillable ink from Cobra Ink. Uh, so for those, there's red, orange, yellow. You can see the blacks. How black the black is. Good colors for them. I said on that. This one we did a little better with lining up the seam here, but as you can tell on the top. There's still some issues with it, and at the bottom, there's some issues with it. So those are the two on that. We've got three minutes and 30 seconds to go in there. Uh, I'll find links for the, um, ooh, good idea. Uh, um, Corey can use the UC tumblers for epoxy. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of that's kind of maybe the, the thing, so that way she can play with that and figure those out. So it's two birds, one stone. Way to go, Renee, for for giving me a reason to keep screwing stuff up for, for her to go from there. Um, I don't think on these, Mildred, I don't think you're going to strip them. You're just going to go right over them. Uh, she'll probably just repaint them uh, and, and go from there. Uh, as far as stripping them, 
you heat it back, you heat the epoxy back up, and then uh, get it down there. Yeah, Jennifer. Uh, so I'm pretty much done trying the ridge ones because these are the two that I tried, and uh, those are the two issues. So yeah, ridge ones out. Ridge ones are not going to be full bleed. Ridge ones are going to be image here to here, uh, and that's uh, and that's it. That's going to be super simple, super easy to do. In fact, you know, I got a couple more of my of my logos on it, so maybe I'll just do a couple tape ones on there with bags and and go from there. Uh, my write off is her game. Do you know what a write off is? <laughs> it's it all works out the same there. Uh, Teflon couldn't sheet on the bottom with more pressure. Good idea, Matt. We'll try that. You know, a couple aluminum discs. That's a that's a solid guess too. So. I think there's only one real way to find out, and it's just to do it and, and see what happens from there. Uh, two minutes to go on that. Don't forget, tomorrow we have training. Uh, tomorrow's training is the, the science of pricing. It's going to be, uh, you can find more information about it uh, over at OurSuccessGroup.com, 7 o'clock Central, um, Art of Pricing. So, uh, you know, if you know Aaron, he's really passionate about the science of things. So this one, well, let me get a little bit. Yeah, the science of things. He's a dad of hipster, so he's going to be able to to really rock this out. Uh, it, that is tomorrow, yeah, because it's Wednesday. Uh, so seven p.m. tomorrow night. Um, art of science of pricing. Uh, head over to oursuccessgroup.com. Sign up for that if you're not already a member. Uh, also, the success tracker. Twenty bucks one time fee. You're going to get some swag out of it. It's basically the kick in the butt you need to keep pushing your business to meet your goals. Uh, you know, sometimes people just need to have that that in writing, and everybody should you need to have that goal in writing, so you have something to continuously look at to know that you set a goal and that you're going after it. So we got a six month goal, a year goal, and you meet your goals along the way. There's going to be some cool swag coming your way. So definitely uh, sign up for that over at oursuccessgroup.com/st. Um, Remember, if you love what you're watching here, go ahead and click the like, subscribe button, uh, share it with your friends. Uh, we are going to draw from the comments from last week. Uh, I'm going to actually do that later here because I was having an issue setting the random picker up. So we'll do that. I'll probably do that live in the group so everybody can see all the comments on last week's. Uh, if you go to liveosg.com or youtube.com slash fatdadwholesale, we're going to give one of these away on each one of them. So go to both of them, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. We'll go ahead and draw for winners of that. That should be here either later tonight, first thing tomorrow. Ooh, timer's up. Glove on. Which glove? Uh, let's pull this glove because I need to grab that and get the uh, and get the scissors out for the other one. So we'll pull that from here. We'll put that back in there. We're going to move this around a little. Because that is a little hot. Apparently, I don't need pointy scissors because I'm going to hurt myself. So let's find these. And these scissors are one of my 15 packs of scissors. If you didn't know, uh, I, I kind of lose scissors a lot. Uh, so I buy, buy and buy the packs of 15 from Amazon. I'll leave the link for those too. Uh, because, hey, why not? Everybody can use some scissors. So we'll pull this off. And see how we did with everything. All right? It's one to come off. All right. So let's start with. Ooh. Okay. Top again. Man, the tops is what I, is going to be the death of me. And probably a little more tape around, uh, around the handle. Yeah. That's not going to work. So. That's okay because I got crazy hot hands. Nope, still the same. Okay. Let's see how we did on this one, All right? Nope. Need more pressure. So I'm gonna set those here. I'm gonna clean up my mess. Like I said, so Corey doesn't get mad. Throw those all in the trash bin right here, which if you don't have a trash bin next to you, totally get a trash bin next to you. That makes everybody happy when there's a trash bin that's right next to you that you use. All right, so this one, for the most part, came out pretty good. We knew we were going to have issues around here, so I did not use enough tape. Let's see if I can see. I did not use enough tape here 
where that came back through. Uh, it did print underneath, and it did print fairly okay. So I believe if I had came in here more and cut uh, cut a better cut line here, I would have got a lot more coverage through here. The whatchamacallit thing, I don't even think you can really see that in there. I'll have to take a still picture of it. Um, let's go this way with it. You can see that it's faint on there. So that one, and that's the same thing. That's got that, that's a little flat though. So that one I thought we would be good with. So maybe it's not the best, it's not the best for it. Underneath, still no bueno. So we're not going to be able to, to figure that out anytime soon. Um, like I said, maybe some more, some build that up, but uh, it's definitely go, it's definitely going through it. But overall, you know, hey, I think that, uh, I think that came out pretty good. I like the colors. I like how it is. I even, you know, placement is somewhat right for a right-handed person. So that's it. That's what we got. We got that one still super hot. I shouldn't have grabbed it like that. Ooh, asbestos hand so much. This one almost looks like a fire. So, hey, you know, it's a crazy lava thing. Um, but down at the bottom, definite issues on that. Better on this one than on this one on the bottom. Uh, but ridges, no good. Uh, flat. Flat, yes. Ridges, no. Full wraps, ridges, no. Don't even mess with it uh, because of those in there. You're just not going to get it. Stick to your design being up here, and you'll be swell. Kind of same here. Uh, this one, we because of the design that we used, we could get away with a little better of the color in here because it's all the same. But, yeah, ridges, mm, not so much, kids. Uh, here, we're going to have to piece some stuff together to, to make this work here. Seam-wise, we did good on it. So uh, you can find these soon on Corey's website when she gets that, decides to get that up. And actually, I think there, she does have one on there for, for just tumbling. But that's what we have there. Um, we'll kick back to me all the way. We'll remove... This guy, right? That's what we did tonight. We've got, we did three cups. That one I'm not picking up because that one's still super hot. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll pick it up with the glove because I know I can't hold it. But you can see how, you know, still issues. But this one I definitely think we can make work uh, about the handle and the bottom. I don't know. Those are going to be ones that we're going to have to play with to, to see how those ones actually come out. Bottoms, definitely going to be a work in progress on there. All right. Um, what else do we have here? Let me see. Terry's been an amazing help to, to see what she has more. So what, it, what do we have here? Uh, you can also tape a strip of silicone baking sheet pulled tight under the handle to work. You cut a slit in the bag to get the handle on and tape the other side using silicone very nice. I didn't even think about that. Terry, I think we need to get some videos from you to see exactly how you're doing this and, and see how they turn out because the one that we had was amazing. So thank you for that tip. We'll definitely give it a, a shot. Um, as Kaki said, you can tell when you can tell it's working and you see the image of the wrap. Absolutely. Uh, that was one of the things that uh, in here watching it, you, you know, you can just sit and watch it. And you can see as it goes through, you start to see that image come through there. So um, that was uh, that, that's something definitely good to, to know and to be able to see. Uh, what else? Sounds a little wonky on this one. So not me this time. I don't know, man. Um, we're going to figure that out. <laughs> uh, if you heat it longer, would it help some of the faded colors? No, because what it is, is this is what I just wanted that camera. Uh, and it might be better if I go on to this camera. Where this was is where the transfer was not making a complete um, connection. It wasn't it wasn't tight against it, so there was an air pocket there. So there, it was a, not allowing the transfer to get down in it, and that's what what all this. There just wasn't enough on because that was where this big crinkle was in here. Um, it's just where where the issue 
that's just what the issue was not getting the transfer on there all the way so you could leave it on there as long as you wanted to but because of that space between where the transfer was and where the substrate was you're never going to get it there so uh you know it, it is what it is uh and like i said you can see it better on this one you can still see where the, the uh, let me kick this out of here um where the wrap was it's still a little hot you can see where the it just didn't come up all the way and uh, you know what it did was it started to buckle and pull it over so that's where it just needs to be um perfect with it i, I almost think that you know, like this one it kind of you, it fell off so it wasn't that big of a deal all the way around there at the top you know maybe a little bit more but i think cutting it so it was perfect around that lip so you don't have that that fold over buckle effect where it leaves these little um, air pockets per se i guess um you know that allow um the, the space in there so you know hey same thing here this just needed more pressure more pressure and it would have been fine with it because you can see where where it tried to get in there and do it so um you know not not so much on it. it it worked out it worked out well on that this one scoob yeah this one this one isn't horrible because it, it looks you know like it, it kind of blends in pretty good um how it, how it rolls through there so you know not horrible the color kind of still looks like sand so that one you know that one wasn't horrible uh that one that one could be salvageable for something but Corey is probably going to turn these into epoxy tubers. This one was just a complete fireball mess. Um, you know, it looked, I mean, I got one good spot of color right there. So don't look any farther than, than right here. This is, this is all you can judge. Oh yeah. See, it looks beautiful. It's beautiful right there. Well, I might even be able to give you a little more beauty. Uh, maybe if we just, you know, go right there. Um, it, it, it is, it, it just, it just goes here. Oh, this one. Yeah. So, I don't know how well you can see it in here, but this is a red, and then it just fades into the orange, and then you have the yellow. So uh, for using Epson ink, or for using Cobra ink uh, in, in Epson printer, uh, you can get good solid colors. Traditionally in sublimation, black and red are hard colors to get. Uh, and I know they're not showing up the best on here, but uh, that is a good red, that is a good black. So both of these are, are good on it. Um, what else? Uh, what else you got for me? Anything? Uh, come in for business. We're there. Maybe there I am. As Terry says, stay away from the edges. That's right. Stay away from the edges, and you don't have the problem here. So that uh, that's kind of the the good thing. Man, this camera is not playing nice. So maybe I just need to stay on this one and, uh, and make it from there. And because I can, I can still keep this guy up here. Yeah, hello, everybody. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, we'll make it work. Hey, look, you look okay. You can see the giant bag of trash that everybody has next to you. And you can see the workstation over here. One of our old cutters. Our one of our work tables. Um, Roxy right there. Dirt back in the corner. So there's all the equipment for us. Oh, you might be able to see this better on here. That red to orange to the sun. So that worked out there. This camera is way better than that one. So I think we're just going to start using this one from now on. Um, other than that, I think we're good to go. We do, like I said, we do have training tomorrow. Uh, that is at 7 p.m. Central. You can find that over at OurSuccessGroup.com. You can find the success tracker at OurSuccessGroup.com slash ST. Uh, next week on Wednesday, we have Q&A with TNA will return next Wednesday at 5 p.m. And you can find, uh, answer, ask any of your questions for us to answer at OurSuccessGroup.com slash QA. And remember, over at Montco.biz, we do have the face mask in stock, ready to ship. You're good to go. Sublimation ready. Uh, these ones are going to press at uh, the 385 for 45 seconds. So amazing on that. Colors are great. Good things on that. Um, we did a video two weeks ago on making those. You can go back and find that. Uh, or, you know, you just like and subscribe to where you're watching this at, and then, you know, you're able to see when things come on there. But uh, let's see. Any questions on here? John, you're asking, where do I get the tumblers? These come from JDS. I would tell you to go to JDS's site to buy them, but last I knew, JDS's site was down. Amazing, which is why 
this cup did not come up as well as I was hoping it was to it would uh, because I didn't have the correct um, template for it. So templates matter. Make sure you have the right templates for things because if you don't, you can run into issues. Um, anything else? Anybody else have any questions? See, now I got the camera here. I bet I could probably just take this guy out of here and then oh, look. Bring it. Oh, maybe. Oh, look. Magic. How do I get to adjust it a little? Man, I'm getting better and better at this. I, I'm not horrible at it. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Perfect. See, I'm getting better at this. Now I just need to get some mounts and maybe some lights to, you know, to make me look better. But so we've got all the all the face masks. It looks like as school's returning, people are going to need them. So just because, you know, you, you think you don't you know, want to have anything to do with face masks, uh, it's not your call. You know, <laughs> other people are saying, hey, they need them. So supply them while you can because you can have it. Uh, as far as the tumbler, pfft, I, I'm glad I tried it. You know, here, let me see what not to do. This is what I learned. Stay away from ridges. Uh, bottoms, need to figure out something with that. Uh, I never, uh, I'm not down on myself at all for it. Uh, I just, learning experience, um, you know, what happens if, well, now we know what happens if, if you do this, if you do this, you know, this is what's going to happen. So stay away from the rigid tumblers. Um, same with this one. I mean, we got it to line up good here, down here, rigid tumbler. We just ran into the issues. This guy, oh, I can actually I can this guy. Pretty good. Tried to do the full wrap, ran into issues right here and here where everything connects. Uh, so I think that is a simple fix there. Um, the handle, I don't know. That's going to be something that I thought would be good to go on that. Uh, but you can kind of see it there. Wasn't so much good to go. Bottom, not so much good to go there either. So those are two things that we need to, we need to keep trying on. Uh, now, next week, um, I've got... Samples, there's sample packs coming in from Sublimation 101, uh, and there's samples that I'm getting in from Seaside SAS Design. I believe both of those will be coming in um, this week, so we'll, we're going to get some of that. Uh, we're going to see what else we do. We'll probably do press press on those, because uh, I don't think we need the, the oven press any or the oven anymore. Uh, but remember, if you want to do these full wraps, uh, you can get pick up a convection oven over at Walmart for 60 bucks. Uh, get the bags, shrink wrap bags there from JDS, and you're not in it for a whole lot there. Um, so it, it's really simple to, you don't have a sublimation printer, guess what? We now offer the sublimation print. So if you go to montco.biz, montco you're able to order sublimation prints from there. So now you've already got the press. What do you want to do? Uh, do you want to do any flat objects? Great, order the prints. You can press it right down your press because I'm pretty sure everybody here has a press. Um, so you're able to do that. You need to do the mugs, get a convection, convection oven for that. Now the rest of it, you're, you're good to go. So if there is nothing, uh, yeah, the Aaron asked if the, sublim, if the handle sublimated. And you can tell it did sublimate a little. So I don't know if that's going to be a pressure issue. Um, I'm not 100% sure what was up with it, but it was it was worth a shot on it, uh, and I guess I can continue on to, to see what it see what it did, and go from there. Um, the JPP and Condi white bags uh, a little better than the JDS ones. They're thicker. It seems just my preference. All right, so JPP and Condi. Guess what? It looks like I'm ordering some stuff from you, and we're gonna try those bags out and see if they see how, if there's any difference in them. Uh, maybe we'll do two of the exact same things in, in something uh, with different bags and, and see how they they come out from there. So, like I said, if you guys, whatever you guys want to see me press, um, HTV sublimation, printed HTV, glitter, um, rhinestones, spangles. Let me know because that's what we're gonna you know start doing more of. Um, we do have some. Spangle designs that, that maybe we'll do those on some masks so you can see how those turn out. Uh, so we're still working on, on next week. Um, like I said, I got those sample packs coming in, but just go through, see what it is, and maybe I know how these press. They press amazingly. I don't know how they press with a bag, and that's what we're going to find out because uh, these do take color great. They do take printing great. Uh, some of the other stuff that we're going to get in, I don't know. I haven't used it before, so I'm not 100% sure. 
All right. Um, on this, uh, I think that's it. I think we're going to call it a night. Uh, Valerie made it. You know, she's on Idaho time. Uh, actually, Valerie had a uh, hundred, a hundred item, hundred sublimation items to press in three hours. I think I believe that was it. It was either three or four hours, and uh, she. Um, it sounds like maybe she pulled it off. Uh, we got her through a crisis, and and I think hopefully she pulled it off, and, and now she can go out of town and enjoy her weekend, right on Tuesday. Go out of town. Oh no, no, she's getting family in town. That was right. Uh, this is a JPP. If Johnson's passive plus for those that don't know has a straight side 20 ounce tumblers also no ridges definitely gonna check those out because hey why not all right I'm gonna get out of here I said uh, you can find me uh, over at uh, Facebook group slash business basics you can come over there private group join us over there you know tons of great information uh, we're all about you know doing what we can do to, to help everybody uh, so join us over there our success uh, where we offer a monthly training and more is going to be coming soon. Uh, so, you know, get in now while before the prices go up there. Uh, and um, that's it. That's what I got for you tonight. Uh, we will see you guys tomorrow at training. Uh, and then uh, we'll get back at you. You guys have a great night and we'll see you. I got to figure out a sign off or a screen or something to, to go 